Hello everybody, I'm Conquering History Games and welcome back to part 9 of my Windsor Restoration campaign in Crusader Kings 2 New Era Old World. <laughs> Guitar riff, enter it. Um, so, we're going to keep working on this thing. We're, I think we're going to maybe just slam on that 5 speed though so I can start building up uh, you know, my piety and things like that because I am trying to become a paragon of virtue. Uh, so getting my piety up is good. It would be nice if I could become known as, uh, Lord Protector William the Fifth, the Holy of, uh, the United Kingdom by the end of things here. Young Elizabeth has finished her training in diplomacy. She became a gray eminence. Awesome. Uh, let's find a suitable match for her as well. Uh, we've got a prince, the former Lord Protector here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The one who's my uncle because my mother, or excuse me, my father, this is my father's brother, I think. Uh, so we're going to set him up in this matrilineal thing so we can get rid of that family name. And, you know, of course, it claims he's Anglican. He's ambitious, which is a little bit of a problem, but he's strong. So let's, yeah, let's bring him in. He could be a good consort if Elizabeth ends up becoming our queen later. Um, hold on, we've got a little problem here. Some Duke Fodor is our current is the current uh probable heir the man is religious conversion that's not going to happen okay well we've got issues um let's see right now princess isabel who am i actually trying to uh get elected right now or pick Oh, I haven't actually nominated a successor, I think. That's right, because my wife died. Okay, so then... Um, I guess we'll have it be my new wife, Victoria. We'll nominate her. Unless... Margaret... Yeah, because Margaret's not of my dynasty. Okay. So, let's come over here. Nominate... Could have it be my son, but he's a bit, he's a little, he's a little young. All right, so we'll have it be Victoria. And just like that, she became my new heir. Because, uh, oh, wait, nope, never mind. Uh, no, some people, other people want it to be my sister Elizabeth. You know what, that would actually be kind of a, a fantastic way to end things. <laughs> uh, but actually, I'm going to keep it like that, because it looks like most people want it to be Elizabeth, and then I'm holding on to second place pretty strongly. And so it's just keeping these geeks uh, well and truly out of the uh, the lineup of potential heir. So your steward wants to talk about the old tunnels under the castle. The argument is they should be maintained better now that times are rough. You never know when you're going to have to get out and quickly. Um, sure, dude. Could be a problem later if I'm not careful, but I don't think it'll be a problem. Shall we create the Kingdom of Ireland? Yes. Uh, although, actually, is there other things I could be spending that money on? He catches up with you. The tunnels. Somebody's been using them. Oh, this is because, uh, you know, we're locked in. Oh, no. Who, somebody's been sneaking out to bang. <sighs> Great opportunity for an ambush. Um, I could raise them, but it'll... Meaning raise them with a Z, uh, but it's going to make me craven, probably. Not probably, possibly. Possibly is the better verb. Uh, but, yeah, we're going to set up the ambush. Somebody's sneaking in and out. I know this story. Yep. My uncle and Princess Margaret have been sneaking around the premises to have uh, intimate encounters. Uh-huh. Aren't they married? Yeah, why are they sneaking around? They're married, or do they? Are they? Are they not all in Middlesex? You're in Middlesex. Yeah, they're both. Okay, so they've just been going and banging in the tunnels. I guess they couldn't go to their bedroom. Uh, Edward breaks up with Margaret, but they're married. <laughs> I don't understand. Um. Your guards have captured someone in the tunnels. However, the person does not seem to be completely stable. Your guards' faces are not showing the usual bloodthirst when they uh, present Isabel the Fox. 
a starved looking and oddly jumpy person. I'm going to do something that's actually kind of dumb. But it's okay, because my heir is Elizabeth. So that's a fitting into the series if I do die. Uh, let's see what she has to say for herself. I'm pretty sure she's death, having snuck in. You know, kind of a... What's that Edgar Allan Poe one called? Um, Freaking... The... The one where death sneaks into the banquet. It became really uh, the, 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 the murder. The murder's in the Rue Morgue. Is it Rue Morgue? I need to look this up. Second. Yeah, the murder's in the Rue Morgue. Or am I mixing it up with something else, though? Oh, no. Murder's in the Rue Morgue is a murder story. Then what's the one? Uh, the Mask of the Red Death. That's what I'm thinking of. I think. Yeah. Because that one became really popular again when uh, the Backstreet Boys reunion tour got started in earnest. It was like that and The Stand and World War Z. Uh, okay. So. The guard tells you she claims to have had a lover at court. They were on their way back into the castle when her beloved fell ill. Devastated from the loss, she remained in the tunnels. She doesn't seem all there, my lord. Uh, whatever Z's took her lover has left her immune. She... Oh, let's let her on in. What could possibly go wrong? Steampunk lady track. You know what? These are going to start wearing on me, though. Uh, there are only so many songs. You're flipping through a book after another long day when there's a light tap on the door. She, uh, before you get the, up, the door is opened and Isabel enters. She silently crosses the room, slowly unbuttoning her nightdress. Her intentions are plain as day in her smoldering eyes. Oh, goodness. Uh, this I don't think I've seen this plot line before. Uh, let's see here. I like you, but not like that. Can we just be friends? She's disappointed. Flushes quickly buttons her clothing. Oh, poor girl. Um, yeah, oh gosh, I'm flashing back to this time where... Um, yeah, basically there was a misunderstanding with a woman. I was just, oh no, 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 no. And I really did feel awful about it later because I thought, was that on me? I think that was on me. I think I wasn't sending the right signals. Uh, but this, I just said, you know, like, hey, I'm not going to throw you out to die or execute you on the spot. And she goes, well, that must mean sexy times, right? I uh, stay the night, fall in love with Isabel. Well, we're not doing that, though. I just was, let's see. Flees the room. The embarrassment is too much to handle. Oh. Uh, I'm going to take this as, as, like, I think I read a book like this, actually, where the the woman thought she had to, like, give herself up as a thank you. And the guy's like, wow, you really don't get it. And, like, I appreciate this. But no. Uh, anyway, could, could we just be friends? See, she seems like a nice lady. Except for the whole, you know, running back and forth. Uh, but you know the uh, you know having her seeing her lover die of a of a disease and you know of typhus in front of her and her just staying you know a tunnel that's probably was enough punishment. Who the hell is Princess Elliot? And why is there a faction gathering around him? He's my cousin. Oh, this is what happens when the second marriage has happened. All right, so this who's the person who's behind this? Governess Enya. Of Enya, really? <laughs> of Brittany. Secret novelist! <laughs> Alright. Uh, we, how do we tell her to end the plot or something? Hmm. Norse tribe. Okay. Yeah, it's a pretty, it's a pretty strong group here. Um, stop the lacking plot. Nope, that's not going to happen. Can't do some any non-aggression packs. Yeah, they're not fans. <sighs> this is basically a religious revolt. That that's fundamentally what's going on here. I'm sure if I look at every single one of these, every one of them is going to be uh, Thelma's. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're not going to stop it uh, because I've got money and I can hire mercenaries if they revolt. And sometimes, I don't know, maybe this isn't the min-max way to play the game, but, uh, I think sometimes you gotta let the revolts happen so you can flush out the scum, flush out the rats, find out who's really not on your team around here. 
The abbot of a nearby monastery asks that you make a donation towards the repair of the monastery church. Oh, yeah, it's very little. Right, let's do that. Uh, I think that's part of my trying to become a paragon of virtue thing. We're a long way from 2000. You know what? Let's do a little rally around the flag. Let's do some holy wars. Let's declare a holy war here for Normandy. No, it's only a very, very small part. So we'll do it for Picardy, which will take most of it from them. Uh, nearby novelist rulers might join in. Um, dang, there are a lot of them. But ultimately, I think they're weakened. How strong is my army? About 20,000. I think we could pull it off. Mm, so should I then actually go for Belgium first? Why can't I declare war on him? I must have a valid Casus Belli to declare war. Why don't I have one on him? He's a novelist pagan. So why am I not allowed to declare war on him? But this one's also novelist, and I can. Am I missing something here? Lord Protector William V of the United Kingdom can use this Casus Belli to seize all titles held by the infidel Generalist Danielle of Picardy. The Casus Belli is valid against neighbors and also against infidels up to two seas away if either the attacker or the defender is a Muslim or if the era of Great Holy Wars has started for the attacker's religion. I still don't quite understand. I guess it's because... Belgium, we're not bordering it, even though we have only the Straits of Dover separating us. Oh, but you know what? I guess because it's because the capital's not on the coast. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. God, that is really such a silly <laughs> crest. It's, it gets so small. Uh, huh. All right. Well, then, if we're gonna do this, let's go for somebody bigger. Or perhaps declare more than one war at once. That's something I like doing. So maybe declare war on Portier and Grandest and Picardy at the same time. Oh, you know what? It costs us piety to fight these wars, though. So then when I win... It doesn't act... It's just going to give me my hundred piety back. So, it, you know, it's still net winning in the sense that we're going to get uh, some land here, but it's actually not helping me a ton. Well, you know, we've already started. Let's uh, let's just go ahead and do do some mass stuff here. What is this? Does not have the character modifier recent Holy War. Oh, what? Is that just in this mod or is that in the whole game? Because that was... I used to do that all the time. You know, you, 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 you split up like something like this. Okay, so we're like right here, this is a bunch of Muslim territory, but you got a bunch of smaller individual nations, so you just do like you chain together a bunch of holy wars, and so that way you can take like three, four duchies at a time, since you're gonna be at war with all of them anyway, so you might as well get some land from all of them. Wow, that is uh that is a significant difference. Okay. Whew. Got smell filling my nose up roasting some chicken right now so it's uh, kind of smelling it it's almost ready okay this track sounds like something out of the american conquest rts game let's see here all right let's get gathering people up as i've gone into seclusion in my court my efforts to appease the duchess have to be haunted Halted. Oh, but we can we can open the gates now. All right. See, and I know that I said I'm only doing ten episodes, but this kind of holy war stuff is what I would be doing if I was trying to get the realm size up so I could do the American invasion. Caught a couple people in flagrante. Oh, okay. No, no, she's single. And, oh, he's married. Exposure! A revolt is now a realm. Protracted revolt in Yugoslavia has ended in stalemate again. It's breaking up even more. And they're still going to have, you know, claims on each other. But now we've got Montenegro in uh, Yugoslavia in addition to 
regular Yugoslavia. He's now called the Evil in, uh, in, in, in Croatian Yugoslavia. What's next? Stay tuned. What, what does it de jour look like? Okay, de jour, or there's still like the kingdom, but there's already some drift happening in the Croatian areas. Alpirajk, huh? Oh, there's Benelux Empire. I didn't see that before. These are, so these are all the de jour empires. Okay. India's a little different. Mughalstan. Alright, back over here. Uh, we're gonna... Oh, shoot, we don't have court physician. Oh, I didn't need to do that. I could have just, you know, looked for one manually and saved myself a little gold. Okay, but we've got some people joining in the Holy War. That's interesting. Has joined Queen Joseph. Oh, no, they're joining against me. There's your problem. Okay, let's come over here. Uh, there's a messianic exile here at my court. 15 right on the right on that borderline. I, I will like never go lower than 15 when it comes to the court physician, but I don't know. Come on everybody. Let's get it together. Victorious Crusaders, ah. God has granted King Felu of Catalonia victory in the Crusade for Andalusia. Uh, Ramatoli Nidien have been beaten at every turn throughout the war, and she's finally had to give up her holdings in Andalusia. King Felu has granted the new lands of Andalusia to Fronilda de Vivar, as in El Cid. Oh, now she's got Crusader blood now. Uh, the Pope has made announcements about the victory and virtues of the Crusaders as true faithful protectors of the faith. With the Syncretics being pushed out of their old lands, there are certainly more conflicts to come. Okay. So she owns, like, New Andalusia, right? Yeah, yeah. So it's, like, kind of the same color, but it's a different thing. And so now these novelists, or no, I think these are also, were they part of the, no, they couldn't have been part of the Crusade, but where'd this guy come from? He's a Bourbon. Hmm. Odd. What's going on? Why can't why can't uh why doesn't he fit? You know, we'll just make two trips. Alright, let's get you here. Uh oh, are they going north? No, they're not. Okay. The llama look at this shit! It's the llamas! You know, you see the silhouette? Kind of... Is that just me? I don't know. But, uh, wow, some pretty big armies, though, that we're dealing with here. Um, we might actually need to get those Irish units up and running after all. Oh my gosh, that army is friggin' huge. Can we try to run? Oh, and our, and our org is low. There was no reason for me to do this. This was really stupid. Meaning landing there. That's what I mean. The no reason bit. Um... Oh, we're gonna get freaking massacred. Wait, we're holding, we're holding, sort of, we're holding. The reinforcements came in. Oh, they've got some of their own coming though. Let's go, let's go. Oh, the reinforcements, they're just so freaking many. I'm bringing Margaret to the local monastery to today. There she meets with many brothers and sisters doing penance who greet her politely as we leave the monastery. My courtiers say, go with God all that she meets oh it's tight 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 can we possibly come down here in time I'm not being efficient at all reinforce what's going on what they didn't get on board no oh no it's not like we're gonna find some local levies somewhere nope nope the flanks just broke that was nuts. Uh, we actually lost about an even amount of troops, but uh, wow, that was some fight. Okay, get on freaking board, please. They lost slightly more than we did. It kind of works out. Uh, what is it? Can you become kind? Ah, uh, okay. Come on, come on, come on. Get it together, get it 
that's good. And the good news is we're on our own turf, so we're reinforcing the troops now. Okay. Hmm. Maybe I should hire some mercenaries. You know what it is, also? I never... I didn't summon my own troops. So we'll deal with this. My brother was dozing. Wake up, bro. Can't be sleeping in church, bro. I uh, gently prod. Think nothing of it, friend. Okay. Uh, accept missions to go on a pilgrimage. Oh, yeah. Definitely. That is one way to get my piety up. I think we actually could take these guys to the south, but let's get the reinforcements over first to really lock it down. Damn, we lost a lot on that point, and we've also lost control of La Rochelle, which doesn't help. Well, if we were really lucky, they'd try to cross the river here, but I don't think we're, we're that kind of lucky. Still kind of passively reinforcing a little bit. Ooh, no, this isn't good. <sighs> There's a big army there. You know what? We've got to crush this one while we can. This is our chance. Okay, very good. Very good. A little bit of reinforcement coming. We've got to smash it before this 12,000 army shows up. Okay. Whew, we killed 10,000 of them and lost less than 900 ourselves. Now, we're going to try to get up here to Maine. I don't know if we'll get there in time. Cool, cool. We are able to get out of the way. Now they're going to go running off. Cowards. All right, let's, let's try to go down to Poitiers now. Actually, stop. I don't want to actually catch up with that guy. Okay, we're going to have another fight here. Just making sure these are still the best that we've got to offer. Yeah. Okay. Good, good. All right. Amazing. Ratios weren't as good that time, but uh, still, it's something. Okay, we're dealing with some attrition. That's a bit of a problem. But just sit. Sit and wait. It's because she's also starting to get a uh, ticking war score. Starting to think Isabel might fancy me. Not appropriate! Plus, that's for. Oh, I hope we keep getting that event. That's free five piety every time. Thank you very much. Remember, the goal is 2,000 piety. Dang it. I think I'm suffering from attrition because I didn't take this back first. Oh, this is bad. We've lost like 13. We've lost more men to this <coughs> um, attrition we're suffering from right now than the little battle we had fought earlier. Where are they going? Up there. Oh, man. Oh, it's so bad, the attrition. It's terrible. Let's go! Ah! Yeah, and they're coming for me, so they're crossing a river, but my guys are beat the F up right now. I don't think we can win this. Oh, my wife Victoria's pregnant, aka my aunt. My wife aunt, my aunt's wife. Oh, now we've really got problems. William, I name you a pretender. Elliot Wallace is the true ruler of the United Kingdom, is recognized by myself and other nobles, relinquish the title of their reward. You see, this is why I wasn't initially using my main um, forces. Well, uh, I will not be blackmailed. And yeah, so all of this is gonna go away. Yeah, northern, northern France. Uh, Northern, Northern France, North France. So there goes Scotland as well. Uh, really not great. Really a bad, 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 bad situation out here. Um, and now this army got annihilated pretty much. Like, yeah, it's still technically alive, but it's 601 of them. Okay. Uh, 
how friggin' far are we running all the way down here? The pregnancy has made my wife more talkative. Yeah, it's fine. We'll just have the bard for her. Well, I hope you guys are happy. You're gonna screw us out of winning this holy war. My Uncle Frederick's letting himself go as of late. Yeah, okay, whatever. Hey, what? I thought I had hit the thing. Or... Hmm, I guess I hit the wrong thing. Instead of the thing I thought I hit. Okay, let's come over here by the Isle of Man so then we can funnel them over. And really everybody. Let's go into the I Irish Sea. Okay. Quite a lot of ground to cover here. No, drop here. Dispatch some maids to take care of my pregnant wife. Oh boy. There's a lot. There's a lot coming in on our asses. Good, good. Oh, seriously, another dangerous faction? An independence one? Munster. The Irish want to break away. What else is new, huh? <laughs> Must be a day that... Oh, I don't have commanders. Or I've got... No, actually, I do. I do. I've got Earl Jacob of Northumberland. But... Come on, fend them off, fend them off. Kimberly could use some guidance. Yeah, make your moves at the right time. Okay, that was good. Definitely could have been better. Uh, let's merge. Make sure we've got all of our best people. Alright, come on up here. Oh, okay, that's, that's how you want to play. That's how you want to play games. Do you want to play games? We can play games. A son has been born named Maurice. Why was I not allowed to name him? Oh my god, it's not going to be my kid. Is that what's going to happen? Alright. Come on. Why did I attack over a river? But It's alright, we're going to start just beating them off. Destroying these individual armies. We have excellent, excellent commanders right now. So we're in a good place. Uh, let's start making our way down here towards the capital so we can rescue Middlesex from destruction. The problem is, because of the Thames River, I think, uh, I'm not sure which direction we're going to be able to attack from safely. Oxford, Surrey, Winchester, Kentucky. Okay, Bedford. So we go Bedford into Middlesex. That's how we do it. This is bait. I've seen that trick. That's bait. I I, I practically wrote the book on that trick. They want to get me engaged here, and then the 9,000 reinforcements will come down. Uh, taking Gabriel with me. Alright. Battle of St. Paul's went well. Alright. There's so much ground to cover. <laughs> what the heck is that? Our Norian army has elephants somehow. I, I don't understand. <laughs> We're just trying to take this areas back. Okay, got all of our capital back. Good. Let's try to keep out of the way because I think technically um, this revolt is also still at war with Picardy. Or at least they're hostile or something. No, no they're not actually. Not at all. They got no problem with each other it would seem. Well, something's got to happen if they crash into each other, like up here. Okay, Margaret Gip Gagarius. British Revolt and Picardy. Oh, nope, they're, they're actively working together, actually. Oh, 
William Windsor is now known as Rymouth. Hmm. Need 750 devotion to upgrade. I need to get peace to get a pilgrimage. Okay, you know what? We're gonna... Okay, wife's creating. She deserves a treat. Yeah, sure. All right, so that's it. That's the end of today's episode. In the next one, I'm gonna try to put down this revolt, which, again, if we... As long as we win it, I think it's gonna be a net gain because then we're gonna be able to imprison everybody who was part of it and revoke their shit and give it to nice Anglican boys and girls. I'm Conquering History Games, and I'll see you next time for the finale of my Windsor Restoration Campaign.